I figured when I grew up, I wouldn't be as close as I was with my brother. Yet that doesn't happen to be the case. We've actually gotten tighter since we've grown up. It wasn't what I thought. Here's the one thing that solidified my relationship with my brother. We have a philosophy or a ritual of getting together no matter what, making sure we play chess while eating steak. I know it's just steak and chess. It doesn't seem like much, but we turned not much into something much just as a way to get each other meeting up. For context, my brother is five years older than me. Though he's never talked down or belittled me, he has a compassionate and judgment-free heart, which makes it easy to confide in. It's also admirable to point out it seems he has such a stoic nature to him. I look up to him and love receiving guidance and advice from him. That being said, I still have this desire to want to one-up him in everything to establish dominance over him, which, I mean, to me seems pretty natural in the older, younger brother realm. Hey, yo, what's up, bro? How you doing? I haven't seen you in a while. That's what I was just thinking myself, too. We should fill the void with something. Like what? You know what we should maybe do? We should do something cooperative, some kind of painting or something. How do you I feel like about it. that? Nah, no, it's kind of trash. I think I could do, yeah. Mm, maybe something more manly. Mm. You know what I think? What? Chess. Chess? Yeah. yeah let's I mean, do it. I'd be down. All right. We could do chess. And then, you know, if we get hungry, get some snacks. I'm like, what if it takes away our concentration? I could be focused. Focus anyway. Actually, anyways. you know what would be a good idea? What? You should make that steak. Oh, you mean my sexy time steak? <laughs> oh, hell yeah. You know what? I'll make the steak and then we'll play chess afterwards. Or maybe even during. Oh, you know what? Maybe we can make it a thing every week. Remember though when the prices were so much lower? Oh, no. Nope, nope. <laughs> nope. The good times. The good times. <laughs> like, oh my god. But all right, man. Yeah, this will uh, this will get us seeing each other more often. Let's do it. Let's Steak and chess. I like it. Steak and chess. Yes. Let's go, baby. Yeah! Now on to that sexy time steak. We start off the evening with the dog water looking lentils in a pot. Then we prep the steak with my favorite garlic paste. Better put that in the freezer because Timmy said so. Nothing like steamed veggies, baby. Sweet potatoes are what tie the whole dish together. Time for the man responsible for my food coma, Tim Ferriss. This book is so, so random, but it's filled with cool advice, cool tips, cool tricks, cool everything. I'm so grateful because this meal makes my tummy and me so happy. Hands down the best steak I've ever had. Accept the feet or eat my meat. Savoring the meat might slow me down, but your predictable moves is why you lose! The ultimate test of strategy, intellect, and nerve. On this battlefield, every move counts. Every decision shapes the outcome. Two minds in constant motion, calculating, anticipating. Each move a challenge, each response a counterattack. With every pawn pushed, the game intensifies, each player daring the other to make a mistake, to expose a weakness. The pace quickens, the stakes higher with each passing moment. No room for hesitation, no room for doubt. As I was recreating the game on chess.com so you guys could have an overview, I noticed something strange. It's quite embarrassing actually because, to sum a long story up, my brother pretty much dominated me in every interaction we had with chess, showing no mercy. You know, one summer I decided I had enough. I devoted that whole summer to chess and only chess, training day after day in effort to annihilate him. Even picked up some help to improve my game. He goes by Kramer the Third, introducing me to this website called Chess.com. This is where the majority of the training took place, as we lived an hour away from each other. With each game played, he taught me something new, and a lot of progress was made considering the amount of games we ended up playing. He then went on to show me another website called ChessPuzzle.net, which really helped me out recognizing patterns and scenarios one may find themselves in. Oh yeah, there was also a simulation section back on chess.com. All that training paid off though because by the end of the summer, my dream became a reality. I turned the tables and it was I who showed no mercy to my brother. It was embarrassing because I should have known better. As I was recreating the game on chess.com so you guys could have an overview, it got to a point where I was trying to replicate castling. And it comes to find out we couldn't castle. We castled in real life. 
on an illegal play, though. It, it, it's just not possible. Chess.com helped me catch that. Nevertheless, the sexy time stake has arrived. Oh my god. Probably do cool bait tricks with that mouse team. <laughs> Tornado! You see, dude, the greatest thing about this is it's kind of just a substitution for melatonin. And what I mean by that is after you're done eating, you go into what's called a food coma if you haven't experienced it. It's kind of nice when you want to be slumped. Kind of not when you're trying to be productive. This will consume me before I consume it. In the middle of our game, man. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. You did kind of kill that. I still got ways to go. Maybe that's why I'm not. I'll be like you in 10 minutes, man. <laughs> I can't even lie to you. Things from here got a little bit blurry. Cause you know, there's there's us playing chess, devouring the steak, and the transition into how we fell asleep or even the next morning, it's as if I were hungover and blacked out, you know, I, I couldn't even pinpoint. Morning me will explain. Good morning guys. Literally after the meal last night, we just passed out. We did, we said it was gonna happen. We, yeah, we, we said he was gonna sleep. I just, I remember in my head, I was supposed to go home last night. And all I remember is laying on the couch thinking about myself, all right, let me just close my eyes and some shut eye for just a couple of minutes. Next thing you know, there's a blanket on me, there's a pillow under my head, and I'm just in this weird baby crouch position, like this fetal position on the couch, man. I didn't know it at the time, but I was really lucky to have the bond that I did with my brother. As far as I remember, we got past the beating each other up stage fairly quickly. He's really into video games, so moving forward, he would introduce me into whatever game he was into, and we would play them together. Whereas, I hear my friends and their brothers, and they'll tell me that they went from the beating each other up stage to now barely on speaking terms. One of my core memories with him was baking homemade brownies and having vanilla ice cream with it while we watched the premiere of The Legend of Korra. There came a point where he moved to Cali, so there was that distance. He was no longer across the bathroom that linked our rooms together, and at the time, I was prioritizing the wrong things, family not being one of them. Fortunately, he came back home and my priorities shifted as well. Thank God for our ritual because meeting up for chest and steak has given us a linkage that'll last beyond just one lifetime. <laughs> this angle's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>